So we're going to do a traditional carbonara, done the right way, but we're going to hack the recipe and we're going to put in some wonderful British asparagus and a little squeeze of lemon juice. And oh my lord, it's really, really good. This is on the specials board today. You've got the pasta, you've got the pancetta, you've got the eggs and parmesan, and we've got the amazing seasonal asparagus. So we're using spaghetti, right? So homemade spaghetti every single day in every single James Italian, organic eggs, semolina, tipo zero zero. That is gonna go into the water in a second. Some people put cream in their carbonara. I wanna show you the true Roman way to do it. And it involves, it's very easy, very quick, but it involves a little mm, diligence. So look, here we have the pancetta. Look at that, incredible pork. Uh, Afumicata, smoked. So what we want to do is have big chunks of pancetta like this. This goes into a pan and we start to fry this. We want to render out that fat. We've put no oil in that pan at all. We're going to whisk up some egg. We're going to put some parmesan. In Rome, maybe they have pecorino. Pecorino. Probably pecorino. Um, both. Or both, which is nice. But if you go into the supermarket now, you can get pecorino or parmesan and then uh, we'll put this to the side. There's a little tweak because this is not the classic one. We're gonna use our asparagus. I'm gonna take three little sprues like this. I'm gonna cut the asparagus almost the same size as the pancetta. And we taste this amazing carbonara in Rome and we think, oh, it's lovely and creamy. So when we go home and make it, we get it nearly right, but we throw a load of cream in it. This is not the real carbonara, okay? It's actually just eggs, cooking water, and a little parmesan or pecorino, or both. So that requires a little skill. So in the pan here, have a look at this. As we start to fry the pancetta, then we can go in with the asparagus in all that lovely smoky fat. Then we want to be overly generous with black pepper. Look how generous I'm being, right? And you want to almost achieve heat, like peppery heat, through the pepper. So. Andrea, my friend here, he is a proper Italian. <laughs> yes. I'm just from Essex. Uh, carbonara, carbone means charcoal, right? Charcoal, exactly. So we're not sure if this dish was like a working class dish for like the miners. Some people say that. Or some people say that they used so much black pepper that it looked a little bit like charcoal. Grey, greyish. There's lots of different stories. Yeah, yeah. So look, that's lovely. The pasta goes in, beautiful spaghetti, homemade every single day. That only takes a minute and a half to cook. Look at this now, all right? Golden, golden pancetta. Look at the fat dancing and all that pepper. And then the fragrance and the lightness of the asparagus. Now, here is the absolutely imperative moment with a real carbonara. That pan is screaming hot. Those eggs will scramble. We don't want that. So we take the pasta out and we steal some water. See this water? And then we put the pasta in and the water breaks the cooking um, and the frying and it takes away the aggressive heat. We toss the pasta in that beautiful, beautiful fat and then when the pan has calmed, then we think about putting the egg in. So you have to be patient, you can't rush it. So we'll get our lovely plate. This is why people use cream, they use cream to cheat. If you let the pan calm down, then you can put in the egg and you should get a natural cream, a natural shine. Can you see the, the, see the change of colour? And then you start to add a little parmesan and that is what you want. Look at it. That's the consistency we want. So you don't need to add cream. You make your own with the starchy cooking water and the natural fat from that beautiful smoked bacon. And then just a little squeeze of lemon juice. Summertime, comfort food. Ah, really, really good. And then as it goes away, a nice little long grating of Parmesan. Look at the colours, guys. And there you go, lovely people. A beautiful pasta. Carbonara with British asparagus. Absolutely beautiful. That is the special of the day today. And I'll actually put it on for the rest of the week. Get in there and try it. But that, my friends, is a peach of a dish. Come on.